Joshua, thanks for joining us after what I'm sure was the hardest night of your career. Your first real gut check. How do you think you performed in there tonight? Um, as always, Andy, first and foremost, I'll go give thanks to God, man. I came out on top. Um, props to Kelich, wherever he is, man. He told me his jaw was broken, so um, big respect to him. He pushed me all the way. Um, and credit to him, man. I had to dig deep. Um, I got a thumb, I think, like the third round or something like that, and I thought, damn. I felt the swelling straight away. Never happened before, but again, we bite down when we fight, man. Um, it's the fight game. When you're in there, you do what you've got to do to win. So I'm, I'm grateful for that. It's not how you start, it's how you finish. And you finished in ruthless, ruthless uh, fashion. Just talk us through the ending there. Did you realise that you had him hurt? Um, I noticed he went southpaw and um, I thought, OK, cool play, B. Um, it's a bit different. So I looped the right hand, I caught him. When it landed, I said, I know you're hurt. You're hiding it quite well by your hurt. So um, I just pressed on. But like I said, credit to him, man. Um, he was tough, he was competitive each round. Um, 400 days off, out of the ring, so first one back is quite um, different, but you know, I enjoyed it. You guys, credit to Sky Sports Metroom, you guys stepped up, you put this out there, and um, as always, I'm excited and happy to have got the win. And like I said, I'm grateful and humbled. We're in the middle of a global pandemic, so you can mm -hmm. train and prepare as best you can, but you yeah. have been out for 400 days, as you Long said. Time, was there man. any ring rust there, especially in the first couple of rounds where he had his most success? Um, there must have been, man. He was throwing punches, but I had these up, man. I said, listen, they're hitting the gloves. A few got through, but um, I was like, look, I'm here, man. We've got 12 rounds, and um, every round I keep fighting hard. Um, but as always, like I said, Andy, credit to him. He was a tough opponent, and um, I wish I was here doing the interview with him. But I'm going to go see him after, man. Yeah, I think just because of the fact that he was stopped, the board want to take him backstage. Um, just on the fight itself and your career moving forward, mm -hmm. I know you know, you want early nights and, and uh, easy fights, but I'm listening. at some stage you it's are going to need a, a fight where you're going to have to dig a little deeper. Was that the perfect fight for you to bridge the levels that you're going through now? As we saw, it was, man. Um, great opponent. Um, under the radar, hasn't been heard of, but like we said, and we knew he was a top amateur, did a lot, but people didn't know about him, but now they should. Um, good opponent, gave me a good run for my money. And um, like I said, I came out on top and that's always the aim, Andy. You're a fan favourite, but because of the situation we're in, there are no fans here. What was it like boxing in sort of a, a unique atmosphere like that, especially when it did, it sort of, it did turn into a bit of a dogfight yeah. at times? Very unique um, atmosphere, but listen, like I said, I heard somebody's coming to beat me up. That was enough for me, Andy. I turned in there and I said, this guy said he's coming to win. Um, to burst the Boetsy bubble. I said, bro, I'm here to defend it, man. So um, credit to him, like I said, but we did what we had to do. People have high hopes for you, and with that comes a lot of level of expectation, and they want to uh -huh. push you quickly, want to push you fast. Mm -hmm. I know you want to talk to your team, but in terms of levels, where do you want to go next? Um, to just keep moving forward. Long as I'm moving forward, no matter how slow, no matter how quick, I'm moving forward, man. Um, 400 days out, so it's good to be back, man. And um, yeah, we sit down with the team, um, as you can see, um, it was a good fight, competitive fight, and um, I enjoyed it. I can say that now, but in there I was like, bro, this guy's hard, man. But um, no, it was a good fight. Fighters want to fight. Eddie Hearn mm -hmm. said in an Instagram Live earlier that in an ideal world, he would want to get you out in December. That's Do the you... aim, Andy. We can go straight to it. That's the aim. With the eye, is there any concern that it's anything um, worse than a black eye? To be fair, I'm not sure what's happened. It's swelling, but again, I haven't had something like this before. It was the first time it happened in there, and it was new to me. So um, I've come out, and I'm like, okay. It was quite a hard fight, but I've learnt something. The eye went a bit, the right hands I couldn't see. So it was something new to um, adapt to. And when, that, when I was in this situation, I was present. I said, OK, but see, your eyes closing up. This is something new. You haven't faced it before. Deal with it. And like I said, we got the stoppage. So um, I came out on top. If this goes down, I'll be more than happy to be back out in December. And with a view to next year, Eddie Hearn's already mentioned that Callum Johnson is the fight he'd most like to make. Is mm -hmm. that um, a fight that, if it's offered to you, you'd be willing to take for 2021? Let the team decide, Andy. I just had a scrap, man. <laughs> I want to chill out. But yeah, man. What will you do now? Um, just chill out. Just to emphasise how grateful I am to God, man. Um, leading up to this, I said to you guys, man, people go in there and they fight, and we've all got talents and gifts and everything, but when I'm in there, I'm solely dependent on God to help me out. We train hard, we work hard, but... When I'm in there, I'm saying, God, you got to help me, man. I work hard on everything, but I need you to come and to show up, and I'm grateful, man. So um, I'm going to just chill out with the team and recover. Has it been difficult not going to church? I mean, that's one of the things. Everyone's life's on pause, and fighting yeah. on a Sunday probably has changed your normal routine. Yeah, something different, man, but um, we adapt to it, and that's what you have to do. In there, like I said, a little adversity came. I had to adapt, so uh, we move forward, man. Yeah, no road to the top is a smooth one. Exactly. Do you still have the long-term goal, 2021, to be a world champion? If the opportunity is presented, then I've had the right fights, absolutely. Perfect. Well, one done, Tana.
appreciate that. Everyone that tuned in, I'm grateful. I appreciate it, man. Stay tuned. That's nice on you. Thank you.